gracias uh, por esta gran acogida. Hola Madrid. It was the blockbuster transfer of the summer from one of Spain's top clubs. But Real Madrid's move for Gareth Bale has now led to accusations that they are spending way beyond their means. Professor Jose Maria Gai de Liebana is an expert on football finance in La Liga. He recently criticized Real for hiding their debts, which stand at over 500 million euros. Estas son las cuentas de resultados de los 20 clubes integrantes de la Liga de las Estrellas. He also claims the amount that Madrid paid for the Welshman was an insult in the current climate. Primero, yo creo que en un país que está sufriendo en estos momentos. First, I think that in a country that's suffering at the moment, when a club signs a player for 100 million euros, the great Gareth Bale, it's a slap in the face to society. It's madness. Sometimes they do things on a whim. They have delusions of grandeur. Valencia are way behind the big two, both football-wise and financially. The city itself mirrors its most famous club. Money has been badly spent. Their expensive harbour used to host the America's Cup, but now no longer. And Formula One was here for five years, but it was dropped from the calendar for 2013. For the club, it's the mess of their two mess tires, the old stadium they can't sell, and the new one they can't afford to finish building because they're 275 million euros in debt. How things have changed since their glory days of the early 2000s. No, a little bit sad, obviously, I think. Uh... The club hasn't been managed very well uh, financially for the last uh, six, seven, eight years. And I think they at some time thought they were a bigger club than they were. But still, you shouldn't have started before you knew what it was going to cost and what money you had. And they did, and they're paying heavily for it now. Basically, the, the Valencia survival depends on, on moving on to the next uh, stadium, to the new Mestalla, because uh, the project uh, right now is half finished. So uh, there's a lot of money invested on it and that money cannot be recovered. TV rights are a big issue too. Barca and Real currently get 140 million euros a year each. Then come Atletico and Valencia at just over 40 million, the rest far less. Even a more lucrative collective deal would only be a baby step towards reducing their combined debt of 3.5 billion over Spain's top two divisions. The Spanish Federation has to take a good look at that because uh, there's only two clubs that can win the league. If if you're going to distribute the money the way they do in Spain. The, the difference is too big. There are 18 clubs on one side, the poor side of things, and there are two uh, giant mon monsters that are Barcelona and Madrid. They are um, right now on another financial galaxy, far, far away from what Valencia uh, can achieve uh, nowadays. Back in this financial galaxy, Valencia's answer to that is the Global Project, a strategy to internationalize their brand and access those lucrative markets in the Americas, Asia and the Far East, which would fill the coffers more than traditional revenues like merchandise and match day. Selling tickets for domestic league and cup games here at the Mestalla is one source of income, but returning to the riches of the Champions League is vital to help the club balance its books and maybe then it can think about trying to roll back the years. It's important economically to be in the Champions League and also in terms of marketing the club, it's essential. What better image can there be of being in the Champions League and what better way is there of opening up Valencia to the world? For now, for Valencia, it's the total opposite of Real buying Bale. Their tried and tested method of selling their star every summer has earned them 150 million euros over the last five years. They'll have to continue with that for some time yet. David Garrido, Sky Sports.